now that this ice and this uh, ice crystal saw, I guess you could call it, has frozen. I mean, you can you can tell it's it's frozen. I mean, unfreezing. It's melting now. You can see there's a little bit of water in there. So now that it's unfrozen, I'm not a pure crystalline form anymore. It's now producing voltages again. As you can see. But that is not the original voltage because the original voltage on this was 1.780. So I found that quite interesting. As it more of it melts, the higher the voltages get. So the ice was actually acting, acting uh, against it. So that just makes me ponder it a little bit. Because with these cells over here that I put in the freezer, they were producing actually more than the original voltage. And this has puzzled me so much because when this was frozen, it barely produced any voltage. It was like 50 millivolts. So technically that should have been producing 50 millivolts too. Because it should be the water as acting like the transfer medium. Like this is acting like the transfer medium. This was frozen. And this was frozen. And both put in there. This was the control and this is the actual test. So this cell right there should have been acting like this cell. This cell should have been producing 50 millivolts because this was producing 50 millivolts because this was a chunk of frozen ice. And if it's water in these cells that's acting like the transfer medium of electrons, technically this should have been producing 50, mil 50 millivolts, but it wasn't. It was producing actually higher than the original voltage. I found that super odd. It, it, <laughs> If water was contained in this cell, it would have been acting like this water cell. And there should have been no difference. Both were in there at the same time. Both froze over. But this one stayed alive. This one died. This water became hardened like a crystal and produced barely any voltage. While this one went up in voltage. This is so odd. Because if water is a transfer medium, that we all know in a galvanic process, you need water, which we all consider this to be a galvanic battery. The water is a transfer medium. But, it's, uh, it's it shouldn't have been producing any voltage, because the water should have froze, and the water should have expanded and cracked and busted the cell, but it didn't. It's, it's still just as strong. As, as, as it ever been so and if the wire was frozen it was frozen it should, shouldn't produce any voltages I'm, I'm just stumped at this point I don't know what to do this is puzzling me